A day ago right now, lights and sirens kept a devastated family back. We saw people on their knees wondering how all of this could happen. But tonight there is a memorial here for the three boys killed. And beyond this police tape, we see tiny pieces of clothing and blankets covered in ash. The frame that once held this home together is destroyed, just like a father says he is tonight. They were very happy. They were always cheerful. A woman remembers her grandchildren taken away with so much ahead of them. They didn't always talk about football or just playing anything. You know, like had to do with ball. I know his big brother went there. Go his little brother. You know what I mean? The boy's father tells me Jaden was seven years old. Nine was five. A relative says the third child killed in the fire was the boy's cousin. The lights and sirens last night left neighbors uneasy. My stomach turned. Today, neighbors left three stuffed animals on the fence. We all came together and we came and supported the family today. A little girl left roses. The memorial, a reminder so much was lost besides property. For all the grandmas in the world, you know, love your children, love them, kiss them, tell them you love them, always be there for them. Police say a three-year-old and 69-year-old were taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. The cause of this fire is under investigation by the fire department and the police department's Crimes Against Persons Division. Meanwhile, Operation Hope, a nonprofit, is helping with funeral expenses. In the Lower Valley, Ashley Cullinane, KFOX 14.